Hello, in this lesson, we'll learn about how to use all three types of masks. There's the alpha lock, clipping mask, and mask. Masks are important tools that everyone should know how to use. We'll learn how to use it by painting a simple, cute picture together. I'll delete this picture first so we can start together. I'll add a layer and rename it to alpha lock so we don't get confused. Let's start with the alpha lock. Choose Freya 0.8 Pigma Brush. You'll find this in the Freya Basic Brush Set that's part of the course files. Now, use any color that you like. I'll just choose a green color because we'll be painting leaves. Okay, let's draw some simple shapes. Now that we have the main shapes, let's click on the alpha lock. It's right here. Click on the thumbnail here and choose the alpha lock. Then I'll choose Freya Tamar Cloud Brush and darken the color a little more. Give it a little blue tint. Then paint the color lightly. You'll notice that the color doesn't go beyond the edge of the shapes we made. Let's use another color as well. One drawback is that you can't edit a specific color. Let's say that you don't like this light green color. You can't change just that. If you want to change the color, all the colors in this layer will change too. I'll make another layer and rename it Alpha Lock 2. I'll make a simple shape in pink. Go back to the same Freya 0.8 Pigma brush, draw the shape. And set it to alpha lock. Change the color. Choose the Tamar Cloud brush and start painting parts of the pink shape. Then move this layer under the previous one to make it as a background. What if you want to add something or paint beyond the shape? Just disable the alpha lock. Now, we can create more shapes beyond the original shapes. Enable Alpha Lock again. Then, we'll do a color gradation here. Before painting, don't forget to turn on the alpha lock option. Okay, now we have our background. I feel like we can add more details to it. Let's go back to the leaf shape layer. Let's add some lines for the midribs and veins of the leaves.
The lines won't go beyond the shape's edge. Okay, we've learned how to use the alpha lock quite a bit. We now know what it does and its limitations. Let's move on to the clipping mask. Add a new layer and rename it to clipping mask. Now, let's create the shapes first. We'll do easy flower shapes. Use the same brush. One more here. Okay, let's fill them in with color. Now we have the shapes of our flowers. But wait, don't set the clipping mask for this layer. Add a new layer first, then enable the clipping mask option on the new layer. I'll rename this layer to color one. You'll notice that there's an arrow pointing down to the flower layer. Let's paint it. I'll use a yellow color. Do you notice that the color doesn't go beyond the flower's borders? they'll look something like this. I'll add some pink on the tips as well. Take a look at the layers you'll notice that there's a separate layer apart from the main shape layer. The good thing is that we can change the color, brighten or darken the colors, adjust the hue and saturation, everything without affecting the colors of the main shapes. You can even erase it. Let's do another layer. Rename it as Color 2. Enable the clipping mask as usual. When using the clipping mask, if the arrows are pointing down to the other one like this, it means that the flower shapes are still the main layer. It won't change the shape of the main layer. Let's try it. Go back to Freya 0.8 Pigma Brush. See? The main shapes are still the flowers. Okay, this is how it looks. You can also swap the position of these two layers. Whichever layer is above, it will appear on top of the other one. If we disable the clipping mask, this is how it's going to look. The colors are outside the flower's boundaries. Enable clipping mask again. Okay, that's about it. We now understand how it works. We can also keep adding more layers. Just keep using the clipping mask one after another. The main shape will still be this one that all the arrows are pointing to. The bottom one next to the arrow is the main shape. Now, let's try the last one, mask. Let's add a layer, rename it as mask. 
Now we have the leaves, the flowers, the background, but we don't have the stems yet. Choose Freya 0.8 Pigma Brush. Then I'll draw the stems downward. Add some leaves too. I'll adjust the color a little. Now we have the stems for the flowers. I'll move this layer and put it under the clipping mask flower layer. You'll notice that there are a lot of leaf stems and flower stems pointing down like this. I want to erase some parts of them. I want them to look like they came out from the shape of the background. How? The mask option can help. When you enable the mask option, you'll see a white color layer pop up. Everything under the white color will remain visible. We'll draw on this layer to hide parts of the drawing. And when we click on the mask option, Procreate automatically changes our active color to black. Now, back to the mask stem layer. We will just paint the black color over the parts that we want to hide. I want just some parts to disappear. I want this part to disappear. This part as well. But I want some parts here to still be visible. The mask will help us to cover the parts that we don't want them to be seen without actually erasing them. It'll look something like this. You'll notice the way that the lines are hidden. What if we want to bring those parts back? We can just choose white color. Then, paint over the hidden parts. Now, it's back. See? If you change your mind, change the color back to black. I believe you understand how it works now. The mask can also be combined with other types of masks. I'll click on the alpha lock for this layer. After I enable alpha lock, I'll add a little orange color to the leaves. It's not difficult, right? You can also use it with the other mask layers. Let's say that we already use the alpha lock and still want to use the mask as well. We can just click on the mask. Now, let's use the black color to erase the unwanted parts. The mask can be combined with the clipping mask as well. I'll try it with the flowers that is our main shape. Enable mask option. I can then erase some parts of the flowers. Without messing with the other layers. These layers are still there as they are. They're just covered by the mask.
Let's make it appear again. It's still there. I'm using the mask only with this main shape. You can also delete the mask by just moving the layer to the left and choose Delete. It's very easy to use. Let's summarize what we learned. How are they different? The alpha lock allows you to draw within the boundaries of the shapes that you created. It finishes in one layer and can't be edited. If you want to change a color, all the colors in the layer will also change. The clipping mask is used to create a main shape layer, and we can clip more layers to it. We can see that the clip layers all have these arrows pointing to the base layer. The mask option is used to cover up the parts that we want hidden without actually erasing them, and you can always bring them back. Try to play around with them. They're important tools that are very easy to use. Let's move on to the next lesson.